Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a natural, well not natural but everyday type of makeup tutorial. Um, this is the uh, makeup that I have done today and this is what I tend to wear every day when I wear makeup. So I hope you enjoy. So after that I like to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the same shade NW13. Um, I squirt a bit on the back of my hand. You don't want a lot because it, again, is quite full coverage and bright in front of your eyes. So I just use the point of the of the uh, beauty blender and kind of just put it in a triangle shape to cover up the bags under my eyes. And you want to blend it all the way up onto your temples to kind of give it that uh, even airbrush type of look and I like to put a bit round my nose as well um, to cover up the pores so after that as you can see I'm quite pale but what I like to do after is take up oh, some translucent powder by NYX uh, the HD finishing powder I have to be really careful with this one because it broke but it's um, a white translucent powder and you kind of just dust a bit off and I prefer to tap on my face instead of swipe because it seems to get most of the product on my face. And this uh, powder is an um, flashback powder. So like say if you took a photo with flash, it doesn't um, show up where you put your powder. So now my face is all matte, um, I like to take my brow product which is Cabral by Benefit in shade 2 and what I'll do, I'll do my eyebrows off camera because I find it really difficult to uh, do my eyebrows on camera so I'll see you in a minute. So my eyebrows are done, they're not perfect but we will go with them. Um, as I said I used um, the Benefit Cabral in shade two which is kind of like a, a pomade this one's a bit broke but it's like a dark uh, blonde pomade and the top also comes with like a little angled brush to do them with um and the next thing i'm going to do is my eyeshadow and i use a mixture of two different things either the matte uh burgundy times nine or the two faced uh, natural eyes and I think I'm just going to use this one today because I'm going to do quite a, not a dramatic look, but um, something quite different. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that shade there. Uh, these don't have names on them, but I'm going to take a mixture of that shade, that shade and that shade and kind of put it in the crease. blend it out so now I've done that eye as you can see it's kind of a bit darker in the corner and then you blend outwards and I'm using I've got to say I'm using my MAC 217 blending brush um, and kind of bring it out into the corner and then I'm going to do the exact same on the other eye So now I've blended out um, them three colours on my eyes. I know this isn't a very natural type of look, but today I decided to go a bit more bolder than I normally would. Um, and then with the same palette, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of the black shimmery shade in this palette and kind of just in the corner, the outer V, to deepen it up. So now I've done that on that eye, I'm just going to do the same again, but only take a tiny bit and kind of put it in the outer corner of the eye. So now I've done that, I know it's a bit too much, but uh, I've just evened it out and sorry if you can hear that noise, but I think there's a fly in my room. But what I'm going to take next is from the same eyeshadow palette, um, I'm going to take um, the top 
colour there on a flat brush and kind of put it on the outer corner. Like that. So what I'm going to do to make that stand out a bit more is get my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray and spray it on this flat brush, kind of dampen it up a bit um, and then I'm going to take that same colour and because it's damp and like got the uh, Fix Plus on it, it will kind of make it like a foil and so as you put it in It kind of gives it that rose gold effect um, and you kind of want to keep building it up like that and then I'm going to do the same thing again but spray it a bit more this time um, with the same colour until it kind of like makes a watery type of paste in the pan like I've done there and just put it on the inner corner and then I'll blend it out with my blending brush like that so next I'm just going to take the same blending brush and kind of just blend out the edges a bit to make it less of a harsh line to give it that kind of gradient effect and I'll uh, keep on blending up at the top of the crease um, and kind of blend this out a bit more to give it less harsh of a line like that so next I'm going to take um, this mascara uh, which is the number 7 Dramatic Lift mascara, it's like a miniature version and I only put a tiny bit of it on because the eyes um, are very dramatic and you just want to make this look a bit less harsh. So the next thing I'm going to do is take uh, this bronzer slash contour from NYX um, in the shade Tan um, and kind of give yourself like a bronze type of look and what I like to do is I like to go in a figure of three on my face um, to kind of hit all them points where the sun would give yourself that type of tan. So next to highlight, I'm going to take this MUA Undress Your Skin uh, highlighter in the shade Pink Shimmer, if you can see that, um, which is like a champagne gold. I'm going to take that same brush but on the angle, uh, make sure you clean it off and kind of just dust a bit on uh, the top of your cheekbones, just round the side of your temple, um, above that contour slash bronzer to give yourself where that uh, sun will naturally hit on your face like that and I'll do a swatch on my wrist of what the shade actually look like you can kind of see it there um, it's a very light uh, champagne colour uh, really good for everyday type of wear uh, I'm, the MAC Soft and Gentle is quite similar to this which I find this better because it's not as chunky of a uh, highlight so the next step is um, my lip, lip liner uh, which I'm using the NYX Suede Matte Liquid Matte Lip Liner in the shade uh, it says it on here somewhere 
uh, sandstorm uh, which I'll do my lips uh, liner off camera but I'll be back to put my lips uh, as you can see this lip liner is very natural and to match this lip liner I am using the MAC Velvet Teddy which is a very popular lipstick by them uh, because Kylie Jenner likes this one uh, and as you can see I am nearly out of it And as you can see, it's a very pale nude lipstick. Very good for like a dramatic eye. And it's a matte as well. So it kind of gives you that matte uh, finish. And it's not like a shiny um, lip type of thing like uh, the cream sheens that they have. Um, so the final step is um, finishing spray, which I'm just using the same thing, MAC Prep and Prime. And that should keep your makeup on all day by the way if you um, see the background change it's because I've been doing things in between these scenes and there is a fly buzzing around in my room so if you can hear that I apologize but um, this is my everyday type of look I know it's a bit dramatic on the eyes um, but this is what I normally do or sometimes I use uh, the natural eyes palette um, from Too Faced which has a uh, different types of nudes and um, like beige type of colour so um, this is the finished look so I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching like and subscribe and uh, like the video if you want me to do more of these type of videos I love filming them so I will see you next time bye